Hi everybody, my name is Thierry Renault. I'm working at the IFREMER, which is the French Institute for the Research on the Ocean. And I'm, more, I'm part of the uh, scientific staff at uh, the Laboratoire d'Oceanography Physique in Sp Spatial. Um, we are collaborating with sailors for about 10 years now. Initially, it was a uh, more or less uh, non-professional people uh, that got in touch with us in order to to propose to offer their service for doing some measurements for us. So uh, this collaboration uh, was mainly used for measuring temperature and salinities at the surface of the ocean. Uh, we we provide them some sensors and the kind of sensors that we can we can give them depends on uh, how much and how big is the boat more or less because of the uh, uh, how much energy is used by the equipment is quite important on the on small boat um, so two parameters could be uh, could be measured by uh, by the sailors, who are the temperature and salinity. Those are, I would say, the most important parameters because they uh, they influence the weight of the uh, of the water masses. So if if it's cold, then it will be heavy, and in some ways the the water particle would have a tendency to. To, to sink at the bottom of the ocean and the other way around if it, if it's warm or if it's uh, uh, fresher then it, it it will try to rise up to the surface of the ocean uh, doing measurements at sea is not by itself very difficult except if you're looking for very accurate measurements and uh, anybody could, could go on a beach and uh, they know if the temperature is uh, 15 degrees Celsius, then swimming would be not that funny. But if the temperature is around 24, I mean, anybody can go in the ocean and swim. The question then will be how much accuracy you are looking for. So this is the only number I will give you today, which is 0 0.02, which is the precision in degrees Celsius or in gram per kilogram. Of, uh, of salt that uh, uh, that we are looking for. Uh, the equipment is mainly electronics, and for a temperature, it's quite robust. Usually, we are very quite happy with the measurements. Uh, the most difficult part is for measuring salinities because, in fact, we measure the uh, amount of uh, electricity that can be uh, carried on in the uh, in, in the sensor, and so uh, this uh, number depends on the, how much fooling are developing on the uh, on the sensors. So it's so it's, it's quite complicated. It requires to be very careful. It, it requires to clean the equipment you know, once in a while. Probably for us, a big change over the, the past three years was to see that the. the that the professional sailors community um, feels uh, very concerned about the professional uh, community was feeling very concerned about uh, how much uh, we human are are making uh, important changes on on the oceans because the ocean is sort of their playground. And recently we had uh, developing a uh, very interesting collaboration with people like Boris, uh, who's actually sailing in the Southern Ocean. He's not that far from, uh, uh, from South Africa, so the water are rough, uh, the wind is strong, uh, the waves are big. And of course, we don't have much measurements over there, even if sometimes we have some satellite measurements. But the problems with satellite measurements in cold regions is the accuracy. So uh, actually, like uh, any of you, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the Vendée Globe with patience and with very a lot of interest. But my job will really start when the boat will be back with all the measurements. And I will have to look in details of, on the quality and on the precision of uh, this, uh, the, those measurements. 
I thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye-bye.